Hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi and welcome. Today, I will be showing you how to do more fall DIYs. Today, we'll be doing some mini tear tray signs that are super easy and budget friendly. And if you would like to see how I make these, I would love if you stick around. Also, if you're watching this video and you are not subscribed, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. Also, the notification bell so you will not miss out on any future videos that I upload. And make sure if you enjoy this video to give this video a thumbs up because that helps out my channel and helps YouTube recognize my channel more in my videos. So, let's get into this video. So for the first DIY, I'm going to be taking this little crate sign or crate, wooden crate thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. I can't think of what to call it. And I'm going to be painting it using the um, Waverly Chalk paint in the color white. I did the front, the back, the sides. I did everything. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us So next I took this little Witten farmhouse car that I truck that I got from Walmart I'll put the exact price down the bottom using this home decor chalk paint in the color black I'm going to paint this. I showed these cards in the larger ones over on Instagram. So you are not following me on Instagram. Go check out my Instagram page if you're not yet following me. Did I say that twice? And um, you can see like little things I'll show over there that I won't show over here or post on YouTube. But yeah. So I went ahead and painted that using this black chalk paint by Home Decor. Once I did that, I took my little wooden crate sign and I glued the truck to that. Then I'm going to take these packs of pumpkin and leaves. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They are in the fall section with the fall decor. They were $3.99 with 40% off. And I'm going to paint these orange using that pumpkin color chalk paint by Waverly. First, I just wanted to see how many I'm going to place on here. And then we'll go ahead and paint them orange. 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 I don't know. Yeah. And I'm going to paint them orange. I was done doing that I took this the truffle color chalk paint the way we chalk paint in the color truffle and I painted just the tips of the um, pumpkin you know a little skim that beat on the pumpkins I use a truffle color chalk paint just to paint that to bring it out a little bit more give a little bit more details than just the pumpkin being completely orange and that's how they turned out then I went ahead and just glued my pumpkins down on over top on top of my car. And I also added one more at the end that I didn't record. Because I thought that made it look so much better. And this was super cute. You can add words to this like pumpkin, patch, or whatever. But I have signs that I actually purchased from Hobby Lobby that I will be showing in a haul soon. And I wanted something simple and cute just to sit someplace else. I didn't want anything with words on it. You made this mess 
So for the next DIY, I'm taking these little houses that you can get from Michaels. I think they're either a dollar or two dollars. And I grabbed a bunch of them like last year when they came out or when I noticed them. And I'm taking some and I went ahead and cut the top part of the house off because I want to turn this into a tag. Then I took some of the Buffalo Check scrap book paper that I got from Hobby Lobby for 69 cents. And I traced, took a pencil, traced around, and I'm going to cut it out. Before I glue it down, I'm going to take some black, some of that black chalk paint and paint just around the sides of the wooden, which is going to be a tag. And I just paint around the sides, the top. I didn't hate the back or the bottom or the middle or nothing because it's not going to be seen. So normally it's better to do this with a glue stick or my podge and I had neither. So I used my hot glue gun, which worked out perfect. You just have to make sure you lift it up. Any piece that's, that's lifting up, you got to keep going around and glue them down. And not add too much um, glue because it would dry up and it just leaves like a, just, it, it just leaves it sticking out. I don't know. If you ever use a glue gun on paper, you know what I mean. So I had started to scrape off the extra paper with the sanding block. And it was distressing it. And I really, really liked the way this looked. So I decided to go ahead and just distress it like crazy. And went ahead and I put a hole in it using my drill. If you've just seen, I put a hole in it using my drill. Then I decided to go in some more and just distress it even more. Whereas though I made the paper look like it was actually made onto the piece of wood. And I really, really like the way this look. You'll see it's at the end. Then I went ahead and had some, got some, went ahead and got some nautical rope from the Dollar Tree that I had from the Dollar Tree. And I tore it apart and I'm using one piece because you know it comes three pieces twisted together. And I twisted it through the hole that I made with my drill. And I'm just going to pull it out the other end and make it into like how the strings are placed on the little tags that you get, like the paper tags and stuff. I wanted this to look just like a tag. So then I got these really, really cute little colorful leaves. These also came from Hobby Lobby. They were in the section with the fault stuff too. They was $4.99. No, yeah. Yeah, these was $4.99 with 40% off. The pumpkins and the leaves was $3.99. And so I just picked out the ones that I wanted to use um, and placed them near the string of the tag. Just look like they were just hanging from the tag. And this one turned out really cute. This is not my favorite. My favorite is actually the truck one. But this is something that was really cute. You can just place on like a little shelf in your kitchen, a little shelf in your hallway. Not just on a tear tray, but these are actually made. These are actually the perfect size for a tear tray. But you can place them any place that you want, really. And once it was done, this is how cute this turned out. I love the way the paper blends in with the wood. Like I was telling you, I think it looks so much better. More rustic, farmhouse. So this has turned out really cute. It turned out the way I pictured it in my head. So next, I got this piece of wood from Walmart. It's a tiny piece of rectangle shaped wood. Um... And I believe it was a dollar and forty-seven or a dollar and thirty-seven. I'll put the price down below. And I took a little bit of the Waverly White chalk paint and just dry brushed it across the top of it, just a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot of painting because I just wanted to blend in to the wood. I'm not really trying to cover it all white, if you see what I'm saying. Then I'm gonna take a sanding pad, my sanding pad, and I'm gonna sand it down even more so the wood can just show through. And it's, this is some really pretty wood. I have to go back and get some more of these. I also showed these on Instagram too. 
So once that was done, I took some of these Dollar Tree beads and I painted them orange using the pumpkin color chalk paint. And I just took a little bit of that pumpkin color chalk paint on my brush, just a little bit. And I wiped as much as I can off on a paper towel and just dry brushed that onto the beads. And it dried really fast because it's chalk paint and it was not a lot of paint. While that was drying, I had cut um, the words out fresh baked pumpkin pies with my Cricut machine and placed that onto the middle of my wood. So next I took some of the Dollar Tree wired string. Instead of using the jute twine, I seen somebody use this wire string. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and figure out how long I want my string to be. And I'm gonna staple one end down and then take the um, beads through the other end and then just staple that end down. So that was it for these DIYs. I hope you enjoyed these three easy to do DIYs, budget friendly. Um, I don't think none of these signs cost more than $3 to make. And I made them my own and they're gonna fit my decor I have in my home. That's the fun part about doing DIYs. So that's it for this video. Thank you and bye bye.